mark, and they are legal. Kip Brown in lane two has the green boat, the Albert Lee appliance to his left. As they start up the backstretch, they haven't started racing yet. They have to come around to start, finish, and get here on time. 48 seconds from now, they will start the race. Ken Muscatel way on the outside in your old boat, David, but uh, he's got a long ways to go out there. He does, and you have to move up the backstretch pretty smartly, smartly to protect your lane. If you're not running fast enough, someone will come by and take it away from you. They all look to be safe going into that turn. Now, I'm not sure about Mark Evans. He's back behind the field. I don't know if he sees a lane where he can duck in side of Muscatel or if he'll have to go outside. We won't know until he turns toward us. He's going to be outside. He's committed outside. He's going to be way out in lane four. On the inside it's going to be the Albert Lee Appliance and Brian Perkins is going to get it. Oh, we got a close, close situation there as the boat in lane two swung out a little bit. He got right in front of the boat in lane three. That was uh, Kip Brown. That was Brown. Kip Brown and, and Ken Muscatel. Now here comes Brown making a start. He's legal. Kip Brown is right on time. He makes a great start in lane two. On the inside, Brian Perkins is running well in lane one as they go into the first turn. Brown will have the lead. His boat turns very well. Will he be able to stay ahead of the boat to his left? Doing a nice job on the inside. Brian Perkins picks up a little water there. Looks like he lost a little bit of speed, maybe right at the apex. Kip Brown able to get through there quickly, and now they will both put the hammer down, head up the back stretch, and that speed of the U-17. Miss Red Dot trying to take over here, but Brian Perkins does not let him go. Brian Perkins is matching Kip Brown in speed, and he's going to be right there when they go into the turn at the left end of the race course. Third place boat is the 57, Mark Evans, then it's back a ways to Ken Muscatel in fourth place. Now into the turn, Perkins on the inside. Kip Brown leaving him a lane, but it's not a wide one. They turn toward us. Kip is in about lane two and a half. A Brian big, takes a big, big bounce. Big bounce for Brian Perkins in the 21, but he's okay. It's Kip Brown leading this at the end of lap one in the 17. Miss Red Dot been winning heats ever since he got to the Tri Cities. Having a great weekend. That he is the leader now by almost a rooster tail over Brian Perkins. Hopefully, Kip will swing wide, leave Brian a lot of room in there so they can both get through the turn okay. Looks like he did. There was a nice big lane for Brian on the inside. The second place boat hit some water there and bounced. It's rough on the inside of that turn. And actually, Perkins picked up a little bit of water on Kip Brown in that turn. But Brown now can put the hammer down in the 17 and walk away. He has tremendous boat speed in the red dot. The U-17 Miss Red Dot is our leader. Halfway through the heat, a lap and a half in the book. In pursuit, it's Kip of Kip Brown. It is Brian Perkins, the U-21 Albert Lee Appliance, then it's back a ways to Mark Evans in the 57 FormulaBoats.com. Into the turn one more time, Kip Brown now out on about lane three or four, leaving a lot of room for Brian Perkins on the inside. Coming down to finish lap two, it's our leader Kip Brown, the U-17, Miss Red Dot, flying the boat a little bit, but David, that's one of the reasons he goes so fast. Kip flies this boat just like his five liter. He sure does. That, that canard at the front of the boat is really how you control the speed. You can put the trailing edge down and pick the boat up and, and fly it, or you can, if the, the water's rough, you can put the trailing edge up and kind of pace the boat back down on the water and, and slow it down a bit. Quite a good lead now for Kip Brown as they come out of the turn one for the third time. The final time up the back stretch for the 17, Miss Red Dot. Brian Perkins still in pursuit, but he's back more than a rooster tail now in the U-21 Albert Lee Appliance. Just coming out of that turn is Mark Evans in the 57, FormulaBoats.com, and just entering Dr. Ken Muscatel in the 97 Rock, the U-25. Kip Brown now has a quarter of a lap to go at the exit pin for the final time. He'll turn it toward us. Still leaving room for Brian Perkins on the inside, but Brian is back far enough that he probably wouldn't care. Here's Perkins, down to start finish, across the line, 400 more points, and what a great weekend for Nate Brown, Kip Brown, John O'Brien, our gang racing out of Preston, Washington. They're going to go into the final heat with a bundle of points. Brian Perkins should be okay for the final as well. He's had a good weekend in the 21, the Albert Lee Appliance. We have to wait, though, and do the math on that one. Mark Evans coming down in the 57, FormulaBoats.com. He'll pick up third place points here. And then it's back quite a ways to Dr. Ken Muscatel in the U25, 97 Rock, racing for our friend Eric Van Winkle and his Tri-Cities based rock and roll radio station. Obviously the Red Dot with 1,050 points on the weekend in great shape, they're in the final. Other than that, Brian Perkins with his 694 will have to wait and see how things shake out. 
The other two boats in that race, Muscatel with 563 and Mark Evans with 563. We'll really have to wait and see how things come out. That's not a lot of points to have scored after three heats of racing.